Hi, I'm Michael McLennan of the Rural and Sustainable Development Department of United Nations Development Programs International Policy Center for Inclusive Growth, the IPCIG. The IPCIG is UNDP's global forum for policy dialogue and South-South learning on development opportunities and innovations. This past year, the Rural and Sustainable Development Team has worked with the issues of inclusive green growth and the extractive sectors in the developing world, among many other issues. Some of our work has contributed to the development of a green guide for parliamentarians in the Southern African Development Community, also known as SADC. Such work has been conducted in conjunction with the SADC Parliamentary Forum with the support of CDKN, the Climate Development Knowledge Network, under the leadership of Lisa Perch, now of the Rio Plus Center, and Paul Masoma of the SADC Parliamentary Forum. Whereas inclusive growth implies a participatory growth that equitably shares benefits across all members of society, the work of the IPCIG on inclusive green growth incorporates this definition with that of green growth as resource equitable and environmentally conscious growth. Among other publications about inclusive and green growth, the IPCIG has recently published a policy brief that addresses the policy space for inclusive green growth within the extractive sectors of the SADC region. The Green Guide will be a policy guidance tool to support SADC parliamentarians that emphasizes the importance of balancing social, economic, and environmental policies and priorities without an overinvestment into any one to the detriment of the others. The Guide will help parliamentarians to determine which courses of action are relevant for them in regards to pursuing policies of inclusive green growth. The Green Guide being the primary output of this collaboration, will outline the compelling case for further implementation of context-appropriate inclusive green growth policies for decision-makers from a variety of departments and ministries, with the aim of encouraging intersectoral coordination, policy coherence, and program convergence. Four recently published project progress reports helped to demonstrate the development of the guide from the early phases of research conducted by Benjamin Butler, Pablo Burkholter, and Lisa Perch, all members of the core working group, to the emergence of core themes confirmed by the Project Technical Review Committee, composed of specialists and experts from around the world. The SADC region serves as a fascinating microcosm of the policy and political structures at play, both regionally and internationally. Due to the diversity of its member states, their experiences, the structure of their economies, and their current human development achievements. Parliamentarians are often amongst the most capable of fusing macro-level discussions with local realities, something that is vital to the pursuit of sustainable and equitable green growth at different levels. The Green Guide project has since entered its final phase of national and regional consultation in the form of further engagement with parliamentarians and other stakeholders in the SADC region. For more information about the project, please feel free to contact the project focal points, Lisa Perch, now of the Rio Plus Center, and Paul Masoma of the SADC Parliamentary Forum. More information about all of our work at the IPCIG can be found at www.ipc-undp.org. Thank you for your time.